Ice rinks are back, and so is ice dancing. NTD's Iris Tao brings us more. It's still almost 70 degrees in New York City, but ice skating lovers can't wait to return as outdoor ice rinks open up. Ice Theater of New York, an artistic figure skating company, is bringing lunchtime pop-up concerts to the ice rink at Bryan Park. So it's just a very, a very cool feeling to have all those people cheering in real life. Many ice dancers have not been able to perform since early 2020. But this year's winter, they're back with more opportunities. Our tour got shut down in Germany, unfortunately, during COVID. Right now, it's very exciting, lots of adrenaline. It's wonderful, actually. I feel like it, all of this energy has been balled up and really it's now able to release itself on the ice. So. Una and Gage Brown, both under 20, have been spending dozens of hours practicing every week. Their hard work now pays off. So while we also want to challenge our audience a little bit, make them see skating in a different way, in, a, in a, um, an artistic way, we also want to give opportunities to young, up-and-coming, um, competitive skaters. We want to see how much joy we bring to the ice, and hopefully that can affect them in some way to bring them joy as well. Yeah. Contagious joy. <laughs> Joyful as it is to watch, many choose to come onto the ice themselves to enjoy a taste of the upcoming winter. Skating appeals to the Peter Pan in us. The, the, we love to glide and fly, whether it's in our dreams or in the medium of ice skating. In addition to Bryan Park, the group is also performing at the rinks at Rockefeller Center, Brookfield Place, Riverbank State Park, and more. So what a wonderful place to perform with such a big audience and the beautiful air of New York. <laughs> These pop-up performances will continue through this and next week at the rink at Bryan Park. And what's better, the rink will also be open for skating. Reporting in New York City, Iris Tao, NTD News. Coming up.